Yo, what up? It's Desi Hollow. Check me out at the Bootleg Kev Podcast. Hey, before we get into the interview, we want to give a shout out to our family over at Imperial Extraction. They're bringing you today's episode. Um, and check this out. If you want a free two gram THCA loaded pre-roll. Yes, that's right. You can get one of these for free. You don't have to buy anything. All you got to do is go to imperialextraction.com, use the promo code bootleg, and they're going to send you one of these for free. Look, premium glass tip one more time imperialextraction.com promo code bootleg you're going to get a free two gram thc diamond loaded pre-roll that's one and a half grams of that premium top shelf flour and a half a gram of thc diamonds loaded up to your door for free just pay shipping let's get into the interview bootleg kept podcast special guest in here desi hollow Represent Oceanside, man. Oceanside's in the house. What up, Kev? Man, I'm chilling. Uh, it's been a long time, man. For sure. You got. Oh, your... I remember when I seen you last. Um, we was at a we was at an event, and you was like on your phone because you had placed a bet. Oh. And it was yeah. It looked like you was down bad though. You know what? You're right. That <laughs> was um. That was a Cypress Moreno spot. Yeah, in L. A. It was Do Do Man's event, right? Yeah, there was a bet I had like ten grand riding on a college game, and I don't remember if I, I think I might have. I think they pulled it out for me, but I definitely the whole time I was I had ten grand on that game, and that shit sucked. That shit was stressful. I'm glad I got over that part of my life. Yeah, yeah. you you were sweating over there. Also. Oh yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, it was like a college. I don't even watch college football, bro. But I I just be using my homies' picks, and I put 10, 10 bands on a game, and I've never been so in tune to a football game. And I forgot who was playing. It was like, might have been UCLA or something. I don't know. But I, I don't remember if I won that bet. I think I won it. I think I'd remember more if I lost it. Because I know my big losses. I, I, I could point at the game and say, the fucking Mike White from the Jets beating the Bengals two years ago. 15 bands out the door. But... You know, I've won enough. I'm, little, I'm off the gambling now. A little spending money, a little I, bit I do of, a little bit here and there. You know, I put a little bit out there. But, I, dude, there was like a, during that period, there was like a two-year stretch during the pandemic where I was fucking leveraging some bread on shit I can't control, which is a bad habit to have. By the way, if you'd like to do the same thing, go to mybookie.com and use the promo code bootleg and sign up, and you, uh, you might get a first deposit bonus up to $1,000. Hmm. That's my bookie. But yeah, no, that was that. That I do remember that. Yeah, I don't. I wasn't even in present at the event because I was so like. I know. I was like, "Hey, give, give." Man, know. look, bro. Like, yeah, nah. But uh, hey, uh, how's everything, man? Everything's good. Everything's on the up. Um, I just released that um, a album. project in the video with Caught Co the Funk. Caught in the Funk, yeah. yeah. Um, I just released that and um, independently uh, as my first independent drop, and it's you know it's a video will corrupt. And then I also dropped, yes, uh, my game plan was to drop the album with the visual with Corrupt. Um, and then following that, my whole roll-up plan was just my music videos. I have been shooting music videos. Um, my, my, I guess my plan is not like in the industry, like an industry rollout, but it's kind of like like a consistent like consistency type of rollout it's a different format than well you've been like uh diving in the last couple of years into kind of bringing back this old school like g funk <clears throat> shit that's like missing from the game yeah i i think right now is a good time for the type of music i'm making because you don't really like hear that anymore no for sure um it's and, different and, it stands out and it's something that like the west coast was known for and, and nobody's I have, making it I feel like I have a chance to kind of be the person that's, you know, gets to like bring in that that second wind of, of funk. And um, you know, I'm I'm doing my best, but it's 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 you know, it's catching on. I see people starting to like find out about me that were like, Man, I used to listen to this type of sound when I was younger growing up and it was the same with me, you know, I I grew up on the sound and, and now I'm creating it. Yeah, for you, when did you kind of decide to like go that route? Yeah. Uh I think like Three years ago, I dropped my first project that was just all funk. Right. And it was called um, 
Uh, it was called uh, Caught in the Funk. Or no, not Caught in the Funk. I think that's, it was, that's a new one, right? Nah, what, what is the first one called? Because we had One Nation Under the Funk was the one before this. Before that one was Can You Handle the Funk. Um, that was my first project where I just did only funk, you know. Right. But I had always, I had always like, you know, messed Dabble. with funk and, yeah. and you know, was, was accustomed to it from just growing up on it. But I never really, like, had a body of work that was dedicated to just that sound you know and you've been working with like some legends like you had a record with sugar free i saw sugar free um dub c uh, been working with little rob shout out to little rob yeah shout out to little rob man he's definitely a solid one that that has always been a supporter for sure and like i've been seeing since you've been doing this like you've been going up like i see you getting mm. bookings and shit i see you doing <clears throat> car shows yeah no I, i've been doing a lot of shows and but my whole thing is that i really want to do like a a successful tour um for this project I, i've never been like on, on tour or really had right. like a, a booking spot agent. dates and stuff yeah, yeah right i've never had like a, a a booking agent really put together like some tour dates for me so right now i'm in the middle of getting that done dope congrats yeah thank you yeah so for you what, so you've worked with some legends man who's been the coolest guy to kind of like hang with and like you know because they all, they all have their own um like personalities and for me it's like I'm a I'm a, a, a young, younger of a younger generation, so I, I kind of have to like I don't know like speak accordingly, but just you know know like who I'm talking to because little little Rob the way I talk to little Rob is different than how I talk to like Corrupt or, right. or Dub C, you know. Um, but you know I I got love for them all, and they've all showed love. But by far, little Rob has has been someone that's been like. Well, you guys, are, I mean, Oceanside and San Diego are not the same, but you got to get. You gotta go through show Oceanside to get to fucking San Diego if you're in LA, and they're very, right. they're very. Even though you guys are very different, mm -hmm. a lot of people kind of just like I, my homie Ben. Ben, uh, I don't know if you know Ben Fly. He's he's from uh, Oceanside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. But he, when he talks to people about where he's from who don't understand California, he just says San Diego because it's easier to say that than Oceanside. Yeah. Because if you say Oceanside, you gotta be like, oh, where's that? Where's that? And yeah, then well, yeah, you know, yeah. it's about an hour uh, north of San. You know. So it, you guys are like for little Rob. Little Rob's kind of like one of the pillars of San Diego hip hop, mm -hmm. if not the goat of it. Like it's like Jail Felony, him. Like there's Rob Stone. Like there's guys, but like little Rob to me is the most like longevity dude that kind of represents South of LA the most. If that makes sense. Yeah, you know? I think the word for little Rob would be like iconic because for sure he's an icon. Um, yeah. When you think about like Chicano rap, he's he's you know he's he's the face. He's like right, the Jay Z of it, right? Which is you know that's a big thing for um, sure. So yeah, no, much much flowers and props to little Rob. Yeah, nah. So for you, do you ever get frustrated that Oceanside has yet to kind of because it's now I feel like you're doing such a good job of making sure people know like Oceanside is Oceanside like. And you have a sound, which every place needs a sound. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But like, being from Oceanside, you guys get confused and butt punched in San Diego a lot. You know what I mean? Is that something that gets frustrating? Because you're like, no, we're our own thing over here. Like, it's a whole different place. Mm. For me, I just, um, I you know, I just tell people I'm from Oceanside. You know, I have love for like a lot of artists from San Diego, and for sure, I, I spend a lot of time down there. And, Great place. Um, yeah, and you know, Oceanside's beautiful too. Yeah, and, but for the most part, you know, there's like a lot of similarities, and um, it's it's just all love, you know, with me. But but Oceanside is definitely its its own thing. Um, so a lot, I, of, I, a lot I, of military folks there. Yeah, yeah, and right now it's a lot of like gentrification and, and like remodeling. So we we see a lot of tourists. We see a lot of like um, prices going up. We for see, sure, we see a lot of things changing right now. So it's becoming a hot spot too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is for people to like go vacate there, right, right, or right. like move there. Like I have hella people I know from Arizona. Like, yo, you ever heard of Oceanside? I'm thinking about living there, and I'm like, really? Yeah, people will come on vacation. I've met somebody that said they were on vacation. I was like, out here, you know. But but they're starting to get more and more things that attract tourists out there. So, you know, it's good and bad. Um, but I, I always try to paint the picture of you know how it was for me growing up in Oceanside, because at the end of the day, every city is gonna like get gentrified. Is gonna get you know it's gonna change. You know, nothing stays the same. So, 
my job is just to paint you know what i know of your your yeah your your rep your representation of the, your city so you got your experience there you got to share with the world yeah hey let's stop the interview real quick to tell you about our folks at my bookie damn it all right look nfl playoffs are going down super bowl's on the way Go to my bookie right now and let's get in on the action. Not to mention, right now is the time to sign up, all right? If you sign up with the promo code bootleg at mybookie.ag, head over there right now. You're going to get your um, first deposit bonus up to $1,000, all right? That means you put in that promo code, you put in your money, they're going to match it. They're going to get you right up to $1,000. Um, and uh, <laughs> I don't care what you're into, same game parlays. Uh, I don't care if you want to get down with the uh, uh, over-unders, you know what I'm saying, some of the prop bets, whatever it is, MyBookie is going to get you situated, all right? So go to MyBookie.ag, get in on this action, all right? I just hit a crazy, they got this thing where you could put three teams on a teaser and they give you plus 13 if it's a three-leg teaser. Woo! Look, do that tomorrow. Do that next weekend on these NFL games. Trust me. If you know what you're doing, you should be able to hit that, all right? Pretty good odds on it, too. All right, so go to mybookie.ag, sign up with the promo code BOOTLEG, and get that first deposit bonus up to $1,000 right now. Also, I want to give a shout-out to our folks at Blue Chew. Listen, man, it's getting cold outside. It's cold as hell outside out here in L.A. right now. You see me? I got the jacket on. It's cold. It's cuffing season, all right? If you got erectile dysfunction, uh, if you're dealing with stress at work, if your dick ain't dicking, it's all good. Blue Chew got you. All right, let me tell you about Blue Chew. A lot of people always are asking me, does Blue Chew work? Yes, it works like a charm, all right? Go to bluechew.com, use the promo code bootleg when you sign up, and they're going to show you that it works because they're going to send you a month for free. That's right, a month supply of Blue Chew for free. All you got to do is pay $5 shipping, all right? Bluechew.com, use the promo code bootleg. Same active ingredient as Viagra and Cialis. But it comes in a chewable form, and it's delivered right to your door in a very discreet packaging. You don't have to go to the doctors anymore to talk about why your dick's, you know, underperforming, you know? And look, I'm going to be honest. The blue chew's kind of like, you know, when Barry Bonds hit 70 home runs? Hey, look, bro, if you want to impress abroad, <laughs> get you a blue chew. <laughs> you go all night, bro. <laughs> your dick ain't never been harder. Bluechew.com, promo code bootleg get a free month supply right now all right all you got to do is pay shipping let's get back to the interview um it's dope man so like obviously you grew up listening to old school hip-hop the funk shit like for you like was there a, a record or a moment that like you kind of realized like oh shit like i could really bring this shit back low key if i really like lean into this a lot more because you weren't always making funk music i think when i first met you you were making more like traditional rap shit you know yeah more more like lyrical like yeah boom bap tribe right right um, right right uh for me i mean my whole reason behind make like interest in becoming an artist was listening to like artists such as dj quick yeah uh nay dog um you know a dpg uh so you know I, I was i was into like that west coast sound but it took me a little bit for it took me a while to kind of like grasp how it was going to sound, especially like a lot of my hooks are like sang um, and stacked. Um, so I had to learn how to stack my vocal. I had to learn what sounded good and what didn't um, because I, I did a lot of like test runs. Like for this last album, I did like 150 songs to, Damn. to get it down to the 14 that are on the album. Shit. Um, mainly because like sometimes I'll be like, all right, I have this good melody and when I lay it, I am not don't have the capacity to be able to project my mm. vocal in that way so then that song end up, ends up being trash you know and you gotta put someone on yeah yes and no because I, for me it's like I, I like to do a lot of things myself find you, you know? your nate dog you know you gotta find <laughs> you your nate dog well i mean i sing on a lot of my hooks but it's like some sometimes the singing doesn't come out how you think it's gonna for come sure out, you know and I was telling myself that before somebody else was like, yo, that sounds like shit, you know? I, it, I, I, I'm, a, I'm yeah. my biggest critic, for sure. It's funny because I always say that. I'm always like, dog, like, why, are, why don't we hear... I say this about, like, legends in L.A., you know? Because I'm like, man, why aren't L.A. rappers making the shit that... Like, the cla like there's a reason why The Chronic and, and all these records are classics. Like, why not do just... More of that in 2024. Like, take that sound and just make it the sound again. 
And so when you're doing what you're doing and I see it like actually working for you and like I see people who don't know you posting your shit all the time. And I'm like, oh shit, that's dope that the sound at least is re it's that OG sound is resonating because it's missing. Like mm -hmm. nobody is, I don't think got, got the balls to be like, man, I'm going to do this OG West Coast shit and make it modern and make it fly and just push the sound because the sound is 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 is, is still popping people are still listening to those old school records yeah you yeah especially overseas for sure you're Espe especially overseas you know and, and my whole goal too with worldwide with corrupt was that you know it would it would resonate with overseas and like and, i know japan's got a huge following mm -hmm. like they love the la shit in japan yeah you see you see like uh whole the, the 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 clothing yeah. style the, mm -hmm. the the cars you know have you gotten booked over there yet? Nah, but you know this year i'm hoping yeah i'm hoping Especially, I want to get um, on that Lowrider tour, too. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with, like, Lowrider magazine. Of they course. Do. They've been doing the car shows forever. Yeah. I think you're doing, or you already did. Did you already do the Super Show in Phoenix? I've done it twice, and then I've done Vegas twice. Okay. Um, and then I'm also doing this year, I'm going to be in Colorado for a Super Show. Them um, shits are fun, dude. Yeah. And, like, yeah. all them dudes is there to have fun. So it's like, you know, like some rap shows, you know how it is when you go to like a rap show and people don't know who you are. They really are. They kind of got your nose up at you a little bit. Yeah. You go to a car show. Everybody there is just like, oh, this is great. Yeah. It, there's a concert happening. Let's enjoy this. Yeah. Because other than that, it's just like, it's, it's good to look at the cars, but you know, a little in entertainment, you know, Yeah. especially if you have a dope set, which, which my, the music I make just ties in really well with the low with rider, the, with yeah, the low and rider your visuals, scene. So. Like you're, you got a lot of cars in your visuals and shit. Yeah. Yeah, the cars. I, I try to put as much Cali culture in my videos as I can. Because um, like I said, man, like you, you don't see a lot of that no more. For sure. You don't, man. So it's dope to see it. Like uh, for you, is has there been um, anybody who you've noticed checking you out or have liked a photo or or left a comment or DM'd you where you're just like, oh, shit, this person, I'm on their radar. That's crazy. Um, I mean... Yes, but I mean, I would say yes to like certain posts that are like I did of me, but I've done collabs with like Sugar Free, Dub C, and um, and Corrupt, and it's like you know their their peers will comment and chime in on. Or like it. who? Um, like who's the craziest guy? Like, You're just like I mean, there's like a handful. Like Mac Ten, just the last post I did with Corrupt, it was like Mac Ten, Lazy Bone, Fire, um, Richie Rich. Shout out to Richie Rich, man. Shout out to the Bay. Um, it, yeah, but it was it was like there were some big names on there that I just was like, okay, that's. That's that's cool, you know. Mac Ten. Um, I, I'm a big fan of Mac Ten. Oh, for sure. I'm I think Mac Ten is one Mac of the most 10, slept bro. on motherfuckers ever. Somehow, like when we talk about West Coast greats, somehow he slips through the cracks. Cause he's one of them ones, bro. Like, no, nah, he Ten really he is, real, bro. Like, and he, 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 he Come held on, it down man. for Inglewood so like what? tough. Like when I think of Inglewood, that's the first. I think of Mac Ten's face. Yeah. I think Inglewood. I think of Mac Ten. And that's it. I mean, shout out to Rucci. There's other, but I yeah, think the, young, the younger as, generation. As a kid, I'm thinking, I yeah. think of Mac Ten, bro. Like I'm like, shit. He was, he was. I never would have thought of Inglewood, and except for when Tupac said it on California Love, then I was like, Inglewood <laughs> always up to no good. Okay, what's that place? But nah, shout out to uh to, to Mac Ten. Yeah, that'd be a crazy collab because he's he's back to making music again, and I, I think seen that. he did. A, I, I want to say the last record he dropped was Car. It was very. Uh, I'm trying to think. He was on the show, man, and it was like so cool to talk to him. Cause oh yeah, yeah, it was like uh, about like cars, right? Yeah, but Mac Ten's a legend, bro, and he's got some real classic albums. And Westside Connection is one of the. I mean, that album, the first album, Bow Down. Phew, oh yeah, it's on the mantle up there. Yeah, that that was a powerful rap group for sure. For sure, what, it, Westside Connection. Um, uh, you know, DPG. Of course, shout out to Dog Pound. Shout out to uh, Corrupt. Corrupt's a cool ass motherfucker too. Yeah, yeah, and he has some funky ass shit too. Like if you think about like some of his singles and shit, like, like, like he had that sound, bro. Shout out to Corrupt, man. I miss, I just miss old school like L.A. hip hop. So I'm glad that you're like, or just West Coast hip hop. I don't use the word L.A. because you're obviously in Oceanside, but just the West Coast sound is like, it's it's going. It's like I gotta listen to twenty year old records to hear the shit I love. Right. You know what I'm saying. So yeah. it's good to hear what you're doing. You're, you're keeping that shit alive, and I I think the fans are relating to it you know because it's obviously working for you yeah yeah it's working but it's like it's at my own pace you know how how however much like work i put into it is it's going like 
is going to be my outcome, you know, or however much, like financially, however much right. I put into it financially is, right. is going to be my outcome as well. And you you're know? strictly indie? Oh, uh, yeah. So, you know, I, I fund everything. I fund, like, the videos, the just everything, you know? So it's, like, once you get into the business mindset, it, you kind of, like, it, I'm not going to lie, it kind of, like, goes into the, the writing process. So then when I write a record, it's like, okay, I need to write something that's going to sell, but at the same time, it has to be true to me. Mm -hmm. um, so being able, being able to, like... Um, be my, manage everything and stuff like that and, and have like a business mindset um it's definitely transferred into the music yeah that's dope yeah i mean if you're handling everything you're handling your own videos you that now you're like okay well because i'm sure you have to pay for some of these features but you'll know okay i, I know i could get this back yeah 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 it's just an investment you know yeah. and um, and it's like for what you do it would it, you have to do those features because it's for you to like have a record with corrupt making old school like hip hop shit like that. That shit is that shit is fire. Yeah, but but at the end of the day, each feature goes to the next feature. If, if you know right. what I mean. For so sure. Say I I just work with corrupt. You know now it's like open me to a whole nother. Yeah. Like, now everybody now when you reach out, you be like, hey, it's look. easier to to you know I got a little bit of like. Mm -hmm. You got a little pull. A little bit of pull, a little bit of weight under my name now. So. Hey, want to give a shout out to our family at King Palm, baby. I want to shout out to King Palm, man. They've been holding us down for a minute now. And um, I feel like my life kind of changed once I started smoking out of King Palms because it's so smooth, man. It's organic. There's no tobacco, no nicotine. It's a natural leaf. Uh, and the best part about these King Palms, they come in so many flavors. This is the latest flavor that I'm on right now. It's the pink lemonade. Now, it's dope. It's a terpene-infused tip. You get to stuff your flower in it, light it up. You squeeze that tip and you get hit with a burst of flavor and it is schmacking. All right. So let me tell you about King Palm. We hooked up to hook you up. If you go to kingpalm.com right now, you can order anything from the website. If you want a box of these, if you want a grinder, if you want an ashtray, if you want some of these, you know what I mean? Whatever you need, some of that lemon haze. You know, I know the holidays just passed, but you like that pumpkin cream pie. They got that too. All right. Whatever you need, it's half off. Half off, 50% off when you go to kingpalm.com and use the promo code bootleg. 50% off. Not to mention, if you're in town, you're driving around, wherever you're at, I don't care where you're from, where you're watching this from, go to the 7-Eleven. They got King Palm. Go to your local smoke shop. They got King Palm, the industry leader of natural tobacco, nicotine-free smoking experience. And trust me when I say, you got to fuck with them. Bootleg is the promo code at kingpalm.com. Get half off. Also, want to give a shout out to Odd Socks. Can we get some Odd Socks? Look at all these fucking Odd Socks we got here. Oh, my God. First of all, the Modellos are hidden. All right, so look. If y'all don't know, man, Odd Socks just celebrated uh, their 10-year anniversary. I was out in Tampa with them. They're our family. They're our, our just our dogs, for real, for real. And um, they are the most comfortable socks in the world. Listen, the most comfortable socks in the world. If you guys ever see me anywhere, I'll always have these on or the white version of the basics. To me, these are like walking on clouds. And if you're into, I don't know, Monopoly, you know, I don't know. Maybe you are, uh, you're, you're a fucking a Pez guy. Who the fuck's a Pez guy? Uh, SpongeBob. Maybe you're an alcoholic. Maybe you like beer. So much so. I'm First of all. I love these Modelo socks. They're fly as fuck. All right. Uh, I don't know which ones I like more, Corona or Modelo. I think I'm going to go with the Modelo socks. And I think I like Modelo more than Corona. Um, Bubblicious, man. Um, how about the Power Rangers? Whatever you're into, they got it. I mean, look, WWE, Coca-Cola, uh, Doritos. Uh, I mean, Godfather. They got all the licenses, all right? Odd Socks is changing the game. The most comfortable socks in the world. I want you to try out some odd socks. Save 20% right now. Don't forget they got the underwear too. Save 20% right now when you go to oddsocksofficial.com and use the promo code bootleg. And uh, we want to say shout out to them and congrats to their 10 year anniversary. Our partners, our family at Odd Socks. Oh, these are GI Joe draws. I'm gonna take these home. Let's get back to the interview. Who you want to work with next? Mac 10. Mac 10. Yeah. Or Warren G. That'd be hard. Warren G lives. I don't want to say where he lives, but he lives down there. Yeah, not not yeah. down where you are, but he lives on the way there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, shout out to Warren. I'm sure that's easy, man. Uh, not as easy as it, as it sounds, but it's like... Well, Warren G's like a real family man, and he's a 
by the way, his Instagram's lit because he be barbecuing hella meats. That motherfucker's a grill aficionado. I know it looks great. He has his own sauce. It looks great. He has his own like dry rub. I think. I think it's sniffing Griffin. I think what it's called. Whatever it is, he he's he's got it going. But Warren G is like. You know, he was active a couple of years ago. He put a record out with Ty Dolla Sign, uh, maybe two or three years ago. So, yeah, I mean. No, I, I follow him. You know, I see him in the booth. Um, and he's doing a lot of these old school shows. Mm -hmm. That's the other thing is like when you do these car shows now. Yeah, I run into them. You can run into them. Yeah, hey, I, I run into Warren G. I, I mean, I met Warren G already. I've I met a lot of artists already, but, I, you know, it's not like I'm just like, hey, let's, let's work on something. You work with MC Magic. I think that'd be hard. You get like an MC Magic talk box hook. On one of your records, yeah, me and him, me and him, I've gone back and forth before um, MC Magic because I I've done like a handful of shows with him. Yeah, for sure. I get tied in a lot with like shows with like Baby Bash no, and Little Rob. Yeah. So oh, I see it. I'm in the the whole like I see them a lot. Yeah. You know that whole circle. It's um, a car culture shit because you're making like that. You know you're making mm -hmm. like yeah. So what what's uh the album's out? Uh, obviously corrupts on the album. Anybody else on the album? Um, corrupts on the album. Um, Mitchie Slick's on the album. Or, hey, and, shout out to Mitchie Slick, San Diego and, legend. And then Pilo's on the album. Pilo, mm -hmm. fire! Did he do the beat or he just do a he verse? He did the beat and then we recorded the song together, and it was fun, bro. It Pilo's was, the it best. Was, working with him is fun, bro. Like usually when I work with artists, it's like, damn, we're, we're in our own sides of the room yeah. and we're writing shit. Nah, with he's him, we're literally great. together. We got we're sitting down. We got a mic. We're just going back and forth. He's great. You know, it's like I never recorded like that before. Was working with Pilo like was that something like where he reached out to you? Did you reach out to him? How'd that work? That's a crazy thing, bro. And this music shit is nuts because, like, I had a shoot. Check this out. I had a shoot in Hollywood with Inhale, which is uh, Nate Dogg's son. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we were shooting at some house out there, and I went to the liquor store, and Pilo walks in the liquor store. And I'm just like, what the fuck? Is that Pilo? I, I get my stuff, and then I go outside of my car, and, and he, what do you know? He's passing me. I'm like, yo, Pilo, what up, what up, what up? But I had met him previously at an Empire party when I was signed with Empire Sounds years about before. Right. Um, so then after I seen him that time, we ended up following each other. And then one day he just reached out and said, yo man, let, let's, I like what you're doing. let's see what we can do. Yeah. Which was a, a big thing for me because like, when I look at like the status that he has, he's up there, you yeah, know? For sure. So for me, it's like, man, like, of course let's, let's create, you yeah. know? Um, so then I, I went and I met up with him the first time I met up with him like five times. We made like three songs hard and none of them were it. Until like I gave it a little bit of time, and then I came back to a studio. I was like, "Yo, I want to make something for my album. Um, I want it to be funky, but I don't want it to. I want you to still be turned up. Yeah, do what know, you do. That bass sound. And then we created that record, and then I, I put this record called Hotel Lobby um, on my album that he produced and Fire. we created together. Fire. That's yeah. dope. But he's solid though, man. I, big shout out to Pilo. Just you One know, the best, with the help with everything, mm -hmm. you know, and he's doing big things. He's killing it. Uh, shout out to Mitchie Sleek. Shout out to Strong Arm Steady, too. He's mm -hmm. one of the OGs out, out in San Diego. So, mm -hmm. for sure, man. All right, so look, the album is out. Uh, I suggest anybody who's watching this who haven't heard of you, if you love classic West Coast hip hop, this guy's bringing the sound back in his own way, in a modern, dope way, bringing the funk back. Um, and there's a tour coming soon. You've definitely, you're doing all kind of car shows. You said you're doing Colorado soon. Yeah, yeah. We got some shows coming up, um, but I'm just going to try to put a tour together with, with, with the dates. Fire. Um, as soon as possible, you know. But now, yeah. You're doing some dope shit, man. It's, it's good to see, you know, your growth. And uh, I'm glad that you found something that I feel like was missing. Because you're doing it. I, 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 when I see your shit, I'm like, man, this the shit. This motherfucker should have been doing this ill shit. Like, yeah. so it's just glad. I'm just glad to see someone keeping that shit alive and it's working out. Yeah, no, it's because it's, uh, you ain't like a new artist. You're like you've been around a minute, bro. So like yeah. for for you to like kind of keep stick stay stay with it until you were able to find right, 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 right. It's the consistency and and just being relevant. You know, like a lot of people like don't understand how to even like work certain things such as like social media. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, like different platforms, right. you know, that they should be utilizing in order to be like mm -hmm. seen, you know. Yeah, yeah you got to do art. all that. Shit. It's, uh, uh, nowadays, it's, you have to m wear more hats as an independent artist than ever. Yeah. yeah. It, not only do you have to go make the music, but you have to promote the music. And you have yeah. to know how to promote the music. That's the own, your own skill alone. You, to be honest with you, you really got to learn everything. Yeah. Like how to record yourself, how to edit some videos. Everything, all of it, bro. Yep. Everything. Yeah, bro. if you're going to be independent, and even if you ain't. You're crazy if you don't learn all of that anyway. You should be able to kind of save as much money as you can here right. and there. Right, because like they say, knowledge is power. You know, if you know how to do 
editing videos or you know how to record yourself that's that's two people that you that's don't have to pay that's two people that you don't have to pay, to pay. Right, mm-hmm. right right that's what russ always says russ is like i edit or i edit he used to edit his videos he was, records mixes masters and makes his own beats those are a lot of things that cost money out in the game yeah. so yeah so man keep killing it bro go f- uh the album's called caught in the funk right caught in the funk yeah. it's out right now you can go stream it um youtube Go check out all his videos. Uh, you got videos with some some big dogs. So, you know, just go dive into what this guy's doing, Desi Hollow. Shout out to Oceanside, man. Um, if we go to Oceanside, what's the one restaurant you're taking me to? Man, if, if we go to Oceanside, I'm finna take you to this spot called... Um, <laughs> it depends if, if you like um, like uh, Toasty Locos and, and like... What the fuck is that? You don't like Toasty Locos? What's that? It's like a... Um, is it Mexican food? Yes, yeah, it's a Mexican, Mexican spot called Rico's, and they have like uh, Toasty Locos. It's like a big plate of... It's like a bunch of different stuff on it. But that sounds like it, some ocean side shit. It's, no, nah, man, it's... You know, toasted lo- <laughs> is Toasty Locos? Toasty Loco, yeah. That sounds like a rap group, dog. <laughs> that sounds like they were assigned to High Power Records back so in the day. So, you see, you got to try it. So, we're definitely going there for All sure. All right, there we go. My guy, I appreciate you pulling up. Yeah, of course, bro. Can we show some love to our family at Hardeen? Man, shout out to Hardeen, man. Look, if you're in Vegas, you got to pull up. You got to say, take me to Hardeen right now. I need to go to Hardeen. They're going to take you. They're going to get you situated. Hardeen, Las Vegas, the best cannabis uh, dispensary I've ever walked into in my life. The most craziest selection of premium cannabis in the entire world. I mean, that place smells like God's uh, sweat. It feels. It just smells so good in there. It's just, oh, they got their own scent. They're our family too, man. So make sure you follow them online, Hardeen underscore Las Vegas, all right? Shoot them a follow on uh, Instagram. Also go to HardeenLasVegas.com. And when you're in Vegas, make sure you pull up to Hardeen, baby.